Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising uh, for the weeks of January 9th through the 23rd, 2021. 2022. <laughs> so I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate. Uh, but hopefully you get some clarity. Uh, also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, uh, be sure to email me for the price list if you don't already have it. If you want to reach me by phone, it's a separate process. So just make sure that you are registered at Bill Per Call. Request your call back. Then if I don't get back to you that same day, I'll get back to you within a seven day time frame. Uh, be sure to check me out on Patreon. I do the monthly uh, Venus sign readings there um, and check me out on TikTok. Okay, so we have the overall energy as the Seven of Cups. We have the Fool. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Page of Wands. The Will. Five of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. And Judgment. Okay, so... Overall energy, um, I feel like you guys may have options for one. Um, there could be several people that, you know, you're interested in, but you're unsure of who to move forward with. Um, I do feel that your love life overall, overall is coming off a little confusing. Um... I feel like someone is also experiencing like they're curious about their sexuality um, or sexual fantasies. It's possible that someone is on the verge of coming out. And of course, not for all of you, but you know, I do get that message. That maybe someone is on the verge of coming out um, or they are having some sort of realization that they are fluid or, you know, there's something about their sexuality is questionable. If it's not sexuality, I still feel like someone is dealing with some sort of fantasies, fetishes or secrets um, or having some sort of hidden or taboo desires mm. you also may be having a lot of unusual dreams um, or it feels like someone keeps dropping by or someone's visiting you in your dreams maybe you're having premonitions about um, a future love interest or warnings about your current love life there could be a possibility that someone is hiding something from you if you're in a relationship. Excuse me. Um, I feel like someone isn't clear or they aren't thinking clearly or they aren't seeing things straight. Their, you know, judgment is, is clouded or someone is emotionally confused or distraught. It's preventing could be preventing you from making a clear decision someone also could be dealing with someone that is much younger um or someone that you maybe you're fantasizing about a fire sign i do feel like someone is getting ready to come towards you um at least within the next 30 days, there's some sort of intense connection that you might have with somebody. But I feel like the two of you are going to try to fight it or resist it. But it just makes it more intense. Um, could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or they're getting ready to into your life it's possible too that going back to having those options maybe there's 
um, healthy competition between your love interest and someone else. There also could be some sort of weird taboo situation like siblings. I was hearing sibling rivalry. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's possible that you are attracted to your love interest, sister or brother. And there is an attraction to you too. So it's like, okay, we're not going to go there. That's too taboo. But it may be something that that happens. Um, and you might be asking questions like, why would my soulmate, why would I be put in this type of position? Like, you know, why would the universe do this? Um, for some of you, I do feel like you need to deal with a past issue. Um, and I feel like you're being called forth to deal with a past issue or something is being brought to your attention. Something needs your response or something requires you to take action. There may need to be closure with you and another person. You also may feel like you opened up a can of worms or opened up Pandora's box. And it's like, how do we put the lid back on this? Now that that's out in the open, now that this has been revealed, what are we gonna do? Um, so yeah, there could be something unusual or taboo happening. And it's like, how do we resolve this? Hmm. I don't know who's waiting to hear from who, but I, I feel like someone is waiting for a response. If there have been multiple opportunities for you and another person to have a conversation, I feel like that opportunity is coming up again. Hmm. I feel like somebody is afraid of what they feel for another person and is like, do I act on these feelings or do I keep them to myself? For somebody, it does seem like it's the same sex situation. Um, or if it's not same sex, it's, it's an age gap or it's that sibling situation. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like someone wants to explore these feelings that they're having because they also keep coming up like they it keeps popping back up. Maybe someone tried to avoid, uh, ignore or suppress these desires, but they just keep popping back up. Yeah, there's getting ready to be a new beginning or a positive change coming in your life. For some of you, you might hear from an ex, but whoever it is, I feel like it would make you happy. So maybe it's not one that you hate. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody wants to address a past issue 
or wants to start over. Um, if it's not an ex, for some of you, this is just about a new beginning or someone comes into your life that finally excites you or has your attention. And there is a willingness to explore this connection. I also feel that, um, and I've been getting this for a lot of people. I feel like a lot of people are being affected by Aquarius season, um, or that's that's affecting your love lives. I feel like there is some sort of explosive chemistry, but I feel like someone's also coming off like it's not a big deal or they're not that impressed, but inside they are. I also feel like you are trying to set boundaries with somebody or keep your distance. I feel like you're coming off as closed off, but that's a front. Um, or this is happening to you. Somebody is acting like they don't care, but that's a front. Someone is more worried about feeling too deeply or getting too deeply involved so they keep themselves a little detached. I see something being revealed to you in a dream. You might have one of those realistic dreams uh, that gives you information about your love life. I feel like an earth sign also may be fighting to get your attention or doing things pretty extreme. They're just trying to push your buttons and get a reaction out of you. They just want your attention by any means necessary. Yeah, I feel like uh, you're being pursued by an earth sign for sure. I feel too like this person is, they're giving you a poker face. I feel like they also have made up their mind that they want to move forward with you or that they want to have closure. They're ready they're ready to confront some past issue or something that they have been avoiding. They're ready to confront it now. If they're not an earth sign, there's an indication that this person is wanting to be responsible, wanting to be practical, or they're looking for something long term. I feel like someone's also been thinking about visiting you. Yeah, I do feel like there's earth energy where closure is needed. There, there needs to be a conversation. There needs to possibly be forgiveness. And they are doing things to get your attention. They may be communicating with you indirectly. 
um, or using metaphysical ways to contact you or they're making excuses to call you or reach out to you. Oh, I didn't know this was your number. Um, I got a text the other day where somebody was like, oh, I thought this was my cousin. Really? Even though my name wasn't saved in the phone or <laughs> you like, what is my number still doing in your phone? <laughs> like, it was weird. Um, <laughs> so yeah, somebody, you might hear from someone and they're making an excuse to reach out to you. Um, this is part of their plan. Yeah. Yeah, someone feels like we have unfinished, they're like, we have unfinished business. So you may get tricked into responding to someone or returning someone's call. Maybe they make you think something is an emergency. Um, but I do feel like you, you're getting baited into a conversation. All right, so hopefully these messages help. Uh, feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Cindy, love and grace.